so Scott, uh, this is your first horror feature that you've directed, you know, and I just wanted to know what that was like for you jumping into this horror folklore world. And did you find it like more or less challenging than like your previous work? Well, I mean, they're all films are challenging. I haven't made it easy for myself because uh, the the genres in which I've made films, the gangster genre, the, the, the Western and now horror, the best films ever made exist in those. So invariably you're, you're compared to Scorsese and Coppola or John Ford and Eastwood or Leone. And now in horror, it's Argento or, or Friedkin's Exorcist or Kubrick's work. Uh, so that's a challenge always trying to uh, tell a story in a genre that uh, has been so well expressed filmically, but also I think the, the great danger is in doing safe work. So I don't mind being compared because um, quite frankly, I could not care less. I just want to make films that I want to see on a Friday night. And I want to see films that explore the human condition. And Guillermo del Toro approached me and said, your last three films have been horror films and nobody knows it. Would you consider directing a horror film? And I said, I would, I love this genre. And uh, off we went. Nice. Well, yeah, it ended up pretty scary. I was pretty terrified most of the time. Um, Carrie, my next question was for you. You know, you get that big fight scene at the end with the monster and it got pretty intense. I mean, and I know you're no stranger to getting physical on set because Elizabeth Jennings from the Americans knew how to kick some serious butt. Yeah, <laughs> I love her. True. It's but, true. Uh, what was that like to film, right. like getting into that uh, big monster moment for you? So fun. I mean, <laughs> you know, in a way that like the only training I have in life is dance and it always comes in handy. And I would say, even for the horror movie, um, there's a lot of like steady cam and like tracking that we were doing cinematically. And all of that dance stuff, it, it, it is so physical because you have to, it, it's a very physical thing working with like a camera operator and moving within their space. And so I always find that those like all the fight stuff and, and there's a lot of physicality in mm. this horror movie and like it, it it's a little less verbal and a little more physical. And I find that the dance training comes in handy with all of that. Cause it's the same language sort of that I, you know, know a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, they always joke, you know, don't work with kids and don't work with animals, but you, uh, you uh. know, crafted such a great relationship with uh, the character of Lucas played by Jeremy Thomas. You know, yeah. how did you build that on set with him? Well, he's such a special guy anyway. You know, you can tell just like the way he looks. He's so unique. He's so different than anyone else. And, um, and he feels different, his whole energy for his age. Um, I, I, I just let him be. I just showed up and let him be. And he's so watchful and wary anyway, I think in his nature. So if anything, I was just trying to be kind of steady and, and calm to like lure him in just a little bit. But, you know, he, he's, he was amazing. He's the movie. You know, all you have to do is watch him. I mean, he sold so much of it just being who he is. Mm. Well, thanks for your time today, guys. I think that's all I've thanks. got for you. But uh, congratulations. Great. Thank you so much. Have a good one.